65 miles outside the glitz, glamour and gaming of the Las Vegas Strip, there's a local business making its mark on the world. Well, we should make that the universe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course, uh, it is a Fisher Space Pen Company and you could count NASA as one of its clients, as we know, and 13 Action News is showcasing local businesses, creating local job, local jobs and also opportunities. Well, we're calling it Made in Nevada. Now, tonight we take you to Boulder City and see why their creations are the right stuff. So it's got a little pizzazz to this one. If you got one hand, just throw it forward, the pen comes out. Versatility, creativity, and ingenuity. They are all out in full force at the Fisher Space Pen Company. Brothers Matt and Paul Fisher showing me around their Boulder City facility. Any pen coming out of this place has to be able to withstand conditions you might not even imagine. We actually froze this one so that you can see that it writes in. So, excuse me, can I feel yeah, it? Oh, of yeah. course. Uh, ice cold. Yeah. Okay, right? <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and of course, it's still going strong. So negative 30 Fahrenheit to 250 degrees Fahrenheit. It writes anywhere on the planet. And that's including underwater, as they showed us here in this demonstration. But their pens are probably most famous for working even in the zero gravity conditions of space, allowing astronauts to write while upside down. My grandfather developed and patented the Fisher Space Pen used on all manned space flights in 1966. After 18 months of rigorous testing by NASA, uh, it was proved for use uh, on Apollo 7. Apollo 7. The very first manned space flight, yes. So, I mean, is it fair to say the majority of manned space flights from NASA has had one of your pens on board? I wouldn't say the majority, I'd say 100% of them. Fisher space pens are also used by Russian and Chinese space agencies. What makes your pen special? How, how is it that you guys are able to make these pens that are so durable? Oh, uh, my grandfather developed a thixotropic viscoelastic ink that allows it to sustain extreme conditions. And it also the, the pressurization of the refill, the ballpoint, anything and everything about our writing instruments is top notch. And that's why NASA comes to us. The company went in a new direction during the pandemic, developing these raw brass pens. The unfinished brass provides a unique antimicrobial benefit for anyone concerned about cleanliness. There you okay, go. Pat. Yep, that's good. Yeah. Now knock those two buttons together. All right, ready? Here yep. you go. Then came my turn to try my hand at pen making. Shove it all the way in, uh -huh. grab this handle, pull it and hold it until it releases. Go ahead and release and pull that guy out of there. There you go. And since you built this one, you got to keep it. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's a beautiful <laughs> pen. It, it's, it's an honor. Amazing really to see the intricate work that goes into what really seems like such a simple instrument. It's been a constant work in progress here in Boulder City since 1976. We cultivate a, a family atmosphere here at Fisher Space Pen. A lot of the employees have been here since 50, 50 years. Uh, they've held me as a baby. My brother Paul. Uh, they, wait, so, some of the people who work here used to hold you. As yes, a baby. absolutely. Yeah, it really is a fat family atmosphere. We love all all our employees. We know everybody on a first name basis. Treat everybody with respect and dignity. Without our people, without our family here, our lifeblood, we couldn't survive. A signature product, and it's made in Nevada. Yeah, it is really, it's really uh, quite the company now. The Fisher Space Pen Company has 60 employees, or as they would say, 60 family members, and certainly brothers Matt and Paul. They really do appear to know everyone's name. And by the way, Trisha, I do have that pen in Danny. I've seen uh, it. I don't have it with me on my set, uh, with the set, but uh, it's always with me and now in my bag. So it's a, it's a cool treasure. You showed uh, it to me the day you did that story. It was pretty cool. Those are great pens. I love those pens. I had no idea they were here in Southern Nevada. That was an awesome story, Todd. Thanks for. Uh, bringing that story to us. That was awesome.